Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because I've had this idea for quite some time now and I think it's going to be really fun and exciting. I'm currently a student at NYU and next year I'm moving into a dorm that has a kitchen so I'll finally be able to cook meals for myself that don't just involve a microwave. But the problem is I don't really know how to cook um, but thankfully my brother is a pretty decent cook. Uh, while he was in his undergrad, he basically cooked all the time and made a bunch of cool recipes and when he graduated he created this cookbook and I have the physical copy right here and he just has a bunch of cool recipes in here and he has really nice photos of all the foods because he's also into photography but I was flipping through this recently and I realized that there's a section in here called college weekdays and basically it's a bunch of recipes that are perfect for college students because they're quick and they're simple and you can also eat them for lunch the next day and so he personally really likes the chicken alfredo so we are going to be making that here's the picture it looks so good so yeah my mom and i are going to go to the store and get all the ingredients that we need and then we're going to go to my brother's house because he is going to teach me how to make it i'm going to get all the tips and tricks because if you don't watch my video where I cooked salmon, you may not know that I desperately need any help that I can get. So without further ado, let's go to the grocery store. We are at my brother's house. We're gonna have another camera. So this video might be the best video I ever post, but we have all of our ingredients right here. Um, we're also gonna make a charcuterie board because my mom wants like an appetizer and we also have dessert, so yeah. Really excited, so let's begin. So we're gonna start with the cheese board. Don't have much, but we're just, um, it's, kind of, it's kind of impromptu, so let's make this. How do I open this? Yeah. struggling to open all of these things. I don't know how to make prosciutto look nice and pretty. How they do this? Do you have a cup? <laughs> Whoa! Wait, if it stays, it'd be so pretty. Wait, it didn't stay. My flower fell apart. Now you're doing too much job. Look at my flower, but it doesn't <laughs> stay. It keeps on falling on more. Hi oh, my flower is falling apart. <laughs> He's redoing it. Last but not least, crackers. How do people make this look pretty? They have more stuff. Okay, we added strawberries, but this is the final board. We have prosciutto pool. Deflated flour, <laughs> another flour, cheese, kiwi, strawberries, pita chips, and truffle pate. Yay, let's try it out. It's cheese it's and crackers. Cheese. Oh. Mmm, that's a good strawberry. It looks sweet. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Delicious. Good job, Jennifer. Okay, it's it begins. You. This is a shallot. <laughs> and so I have to make my shallot look like this. <laughs> How I hold a knife. Okay. Oh, like this. Okay. Okay. Oh, just, just peel it? Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Keep my fingers separated no, like in. Wait, what? Oh, in. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like this. Yes. Be careful. Yes. Okay. 
Good. Uh, this side too? No, do that side too. Mmm. Okay. Peel it and you get to here, huh? Cut it in half. Is it three knife? You should not all the way through, but like this. Here. Okay? Make some sense. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, like that. All the way through. No, no. Uh, more? As far as you can. Oh, okay. But without cutting through it. Oh, oops. Watch your fingers. <laughs> you only have three fingers. <laughs> well, one finger! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Be careful. I don't. Hold it like watch, this. Watch, yeah, watch out right here. Okay. Watch your thumb. I'm sweating. <laughs> there you go. Okay, good enough. <laughs> now you're just gonna go through yeah, and the other way. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Huh. Huh. There you go. Watch your fingers. <laughs> this part, this last part's a little hard. Come on. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. We'll, we'll just leave with what I have. Um, I feel like it's not really that well minced. Okay, do the other one. Okay, my redemption. Oh yeah. Okay. Slice. No, no go pull. Just like this. Oh, so go down. No, use the knife. Don't use the knife to move. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do that work. Garlic time. Um, just slice it. You just slice it. You can smash it. I'm gonna do this. Just slice it. Slice it? Oh, like this? Okay. My cuts aren't really even. It's okay. Okay. He's got that. Look at my garlic. <laughs> more? One more. One more. Oh. He gave me this little nub. Okay. Alright, cut these in half. Okay, I can do that. Like, which way? Like this way or this way? That way. Long the, ways? The lengthwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a better way to be holding this? Ooh, I should have. Try that one. This thing? Slider too. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a really sharp knife. Yeah. Chopped tomatoes and uh, garlic and shallots. Shallots. Okay. Ooh. They're kind of thick.
Okay, so this is part of the other recipe that I don't know what we're making, but. The chicken for the pasta is in the fridge. I've done that before, I think. Maybe not that well. Like in anatomy? No, like chicken. Yeah. When I tried to cook. Oh. What we do? Oil? Yep. How much? Just coat, coat the pan. That's good. Yeah, keep going. Throw in half of this, okay? Okay. Did I like saute it? Yeah. So, tomatoes go in. Okay. Smells really good. Add some salt. How much? Just like a couple pinches. That doesn't let the, um, yeah, you can add a lot. Okay. So we have orzo. That's the other pasta we're making. I put it in here because it's like making rice, right? And okay. You want to do a ratio. So it's about two times the amount for it. A two to one ratio? Wait. It's about two to one. It's like one and a half, two to one. Of what? Tomato? Tomato sauce, onion, okay. and chicken broth. Okay. okay. Okay, we're adding cute chicken thighs. Okay, add some salt. Okay. okay, that feels good. Don't let it. We're going to add our just make sure, yeah, make sure nothing's stuck to the bottom. Okay. Okay. All of them have the same sorting technique. Oil? Oil. The whole pan? Yeah. Okay. Too spicy, right? Okay, we're adding some spice. Yeah, you want the oil to be spicy. That's okay. how you get it evenly covered. Okay. Blooming. Blooming. Oh, I heard about that. When people make pho, they bloom their spices. Yeah. Adding my heavy cream. The whole thing? Yeah. And I mean, I'm gonna keep it about five. Okay. I'm gonna get one egg yolk now. I do this a lot when I bake, so. Perfect. Add some so this is pre-grated that I have. Pre-grated. All of it? Just do a hand, like a couple handfuls of time okay. you want to mix it. You don't want it to clump. Okay. You want let that time for it to melt. Okay. Did we get it? Oh, we did get that. Tempered egg. Oh, I know what this means. You know how to do it? Um, get some liquid in there yeah. and mix it. How much? It's enough to think it's warm. You do this in baking. Oh, we're just gonna add the chunk. This one, we're adding our orzo. Mm, up. You can add whatever seasoning you want in here. We're adding our pasta. We have a big pot right here have sauce, pasta cooking. Okay, so we're putting our chicken. Okay, just put it in the middle. Yep. Yeah. You wanna push it down. Don't flip my chicken. I was exclusively air fry my chicken.
It's hot. I think my knife cutting skills still need work. Mmm, yummy. Mm. This is not the pretty one, but my mom is trying it. Mmm. Tastes edible. Ooh, it's spicy. Here are the final dishes. They turned out pretty good and they taste really good. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are curious about my brother's cookbook, he's right here, you can purchase an online copy. So I'll leave the link in the description below. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. And until then, take care. Bye.